After I've created a relief using the tools in en route, I can make other objects and blend them into this relief anytime I feel it will be helpful. In the case of this particular shape, if I zoom in on the middle here, we can see there's some areas where these these geometries joined where there's a little bit of a of a pointed surface and I might like that to be a little bit smoother and, and look a little nicer. So I could uh, most easily affect this by just drawing some new shapes and creating reliefs and blending them in with this current shape. I'll start off by just drawing a, a little rectangle and I'm going to select the rectangle then and use this little crosshair in the middle of this part to line everything up. And I can also use my alignment tool if I want to select the relief and my my rectangle and align these real quickly. Now so that I can I can work on this object without seeing the other shape I'm going to cut it and then go to a different layer that was created when I imported the object and paste this new shape to the active layer. It's still in the same location and I can view all layers at once or I can work on them in independent layers. Now I'm going to use the point editing tool I'm going to select my shape and click on these straight lines and just drag these out into rounded ends. Now using this shape I'm going to create a new relief and this one I'm going to make it a rounded relief and give it a pretty good angle here. So what I've done is just created a a new relief out of this 2D shape. Now I'm going to come in here and uh, I want to create a little bit of a of a tapered effect on this part so I'm going to use my circle drawing tool and I'm going to create a, a circle it's just a little bit larger than this shape and we'll line these parts up and if I want to make sure that these are still located on my center part here I'll just turn on my other layer as well Okay, now to ch to give this smaller relief the same shape as my outer part there, I'm going to come here and select both of these shapes. And this time I'll soften it just a little bit. And we're going to add a new 3D surface onto this part. And it's actually just going to make this a little bit bigger and give it the same kind of a shape this this larger circle would have. Now we can cut this again and go back into our original layer paste this back in there and we'll turn on the lighted view so we could see how this new piece is blending in with all these other shapes and if we select this part and I'm just I'm just going to select this outer shape and go to the side view here if I want to extend it up a little bit I can do so just by clicking on this part and dragging it so now I've changed this just a little bit. Once I like the way this looks, I'll select both pieces and go down to the merge command here, the combine command to combine these into a, a single relief. So now if we look at this from the top view, we've just got one single outline here and we've created a nice 3D part here using the 3D relief creation tools and then route software.